Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you remember from last video, I showed you this amazing high speed arrow launcher. And so basically, we tested it and it was able to one shot full Prop 4 Netherite gear and projectile protection Netherite gear. So today, I'm going to give you the tutorial. So for the first step, we're just going to build this little piece right here. So I'll mirror it on this side. You will just need some building blocks for this first step, just to line out the, the main frame of it. So basically, build it like this. Four out. Or, my mistake, yeah, four out. And then you'll go three this way, one in the middle, which will be where the water is gonna go. And you'll do one, two, three on the sides. Fill that in. Now fill in the space right here. All right and then you'll just fill it in like this, so it'll look like a staircase. Make sure you copy this right here. And actually, you're gonna put one block here as well. One block Now here. for the next stage, what you're gonna to wanna to get is some redstone dust, an observer, a repeater, and a button. So you're gonna go ahead and place your button here, a repeater, you're gonna place three redstone, another repeater, and then you're gonna place the redstone along the edges right here. Just like this. And then once you get right here, you're gonna place an observer facing upwards, redstone dust on top, and then you're gonna repeat this, this along the edges. And then you'll take your repeaters and place them facing inwards like this. And boom, that's stage two. Now for stage three, what you're gonna need is some dispensers like this. You're gonna need a ladder for right here. And then you're going to need TNT to fill all of these dis uh, dispensers, as well as some water, but right here. So let's get to this. You're going to put the dispenser right here. And I have these dispensers, so they're already filled with TNT. So I'm just going to place them right here on each side. Make sure they're not facing up like that. But make sure they are facing inwards. And what you're going to want to do is put a block right here, your ladder, and you're going to put water bucket right here. And now, if we are to click this button right here, you'll see all the TNT will come in. Boom. It'll get stuck right there and it'll blow up. Now, for this fourth stage, what you're gonna need is some stone slabs. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna place them like this. You're gonna, uh, like this. Then you're gonna place it underneath. Break this one right here. You're gonna place another one like this. And now you're just gonna put wool all the way around. Make sure you do not place any above these dispensers. And you're gonna put repeaters along the side right here. Just like this. And you're gonna run your redstone all along the sides. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your dispensers. Mine are already filled with TNT, so. And you're gonna place two. So you're gonna place one and then one on top of that. All right, now it should look something like this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some wool and you're gonna put it right here just so the TNT doesn't fall out. And now if you click this button, it should activate all of these dispensers, top and bottom you'll see you get a much bigger boom. Now we're on to stage four, and this is where things actually start getting kind of tricky, because we have our TNT section up here, but now we have to get the arrows to go into that slime block and get launched up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your dispenser, or not your dispenser, my bad, your observer, and you're gonna place it all the way down to the ground. You can dig into the ground if need be. And you're gonna place it just like that. And what you'll want to do is just place it like this, and then what you can do is place it sideways, because it'll see it even if it doesn't have the red dot there. So then you're going to keep placing it up, and you're going to go to right here. There's going to be a gap, as you see, right here. And now you're going to go to this side, you're going to place them down, all the way down to the ground once again. And then once you've got it down to the ground, you're going to go one, two, three, four. And you're going to go right here, 
you're going to place a redstone with one, two, three clicks. You're going to go here, redstone, dig into the ground, and you're going to make a little three by three section like this. You'll go one redstone right here, dig out right here, and here you're going to put a sticky piston. So if I go ahead and grab one of those right here, and then you're going to put a slime block on top. Boom. And it'll look like this. So now when you click this button up here, you'll notice that that will go up. So now we need to get this system right here that actually shoots the arrows down onto this. So we'll go ahead and grab us some more stuff. What we're gonna need is a chest, like one of these. This one is filled with arrows, so this is also gonna be filled with arrows. And you're gonna need yourself a hopper, just like this. So go ahead and grab one of those, and you're also gonna need some more dispensers. So I'll also grab some of those. You're gonna come right here, and you're gonna start building a staircase down like this. I like to go to the edge of this right here and then start building down this way. Just as long as it gets to the ground one way or another. And then you go ahead and fill this in with redstone. Just like this. So what you'll want to do is put a block right here and destroy this right here. You'll go ahead and pull it like this. And you're going to put one redstone right here. I'll place it just like that. You'll come back here and then you'll place one with zero clicks like this and right here. And you'll go with two clicks like this. Make sure those have two clicks. And then you'll do another one here, but you're also going to put another repeater right here and also two clicks on this. And you can just attach these together like this. And what you'll want to do is put these four corners in just like this, put this block here, make sure you put it this way so that uh, once this activates it doesn't send the redstone signal back up and activate the TNT, which would be very bad. Alright, so what you're going to do is actually break this block, put one right here, and you're going to put a sticky piston right here. So what you'll do is stand right here and put your observer facing this way. And then you'll build up one block right here. Don't put a chest full of arrows. Put a piston right here. And you'll put some blocks back here, just like this. And then you'll run it along right here. So basically what's gonna happen is this is gonna be pushed up and it's gonna activate this, which is gonna continuously fire. And then we go on to our next stage right up here. So now what you'll do is you'll go and you'll build from this block next to the slime block. You'll go one, two, three, four, five, and you'll build like this. You actually won't need that. And then you'll do the same here. So one, two, three, four, five, do this, and two, three, four, five, on all sides, just like this. And then what you'll do is come up and you'll place one block right here. And it'll go one, two blocks, just two blocks. On each side, like this. Now what you'll need is a sign to put right here on this wall. Make sure it's on this very long wall. And you'll also need to put some stone slabs right here on each one of these little wool things like this and then what you'll need is a water bucket just like this one and you'll put your dispenser right here i believe that yeah make sure it's full of arrows i guess it doesn't have to be yet because we're going to put chests on top of these in a second just like this and now you'll put water in each one of these just like that so it'll flow right here all right all right so now you should have something that looks similar to this and i accidentally left the blocks back here but what you'll want to do is you'll put a hopper going into this dispenser right here on each one of these you'll put it behind it going into the dispenser and then right here where this uh wire is you'll go ahead and run that each side all the way down 
and then on this right here you can place a block here to have like a little bridge to place the redstone over and it'll go right there so then you'll take your chest mine is full of arrows as you see but you'll want to fill this with arrows and you'll put that on each one of these just so it can have a, an ample supply of arrows and now if we click this button over here and we built everything correctly arrow should go flying that way perfect so just to show you it's actually working build a little sort of target right here just like this and you'll be able to see how this thing shoots so if I click this Looks like I put this in correctly. You do not want a block obstructing anywhere here. So from here all the way up to this ladder should be clear. Alright, so once you make sure that entire path is clear, click this button. And then, boom, you'll see all the arrows go in a straight line like this. And that's how I measured this thing out. So every 15 blocks from this from this ladder piece, it will increase by half a slab. Keep that in mind if you're trying to target this at something. So you'll see that there's only three rows of dispensers here. And the reason that you're able to build it uh, like this by increasing uh, is so you can actually add more rows. Because the more rows you have, the more damage it's gonna deal from these arrows, because the higher the speed they're gonna be going. So basically what you would just do is come like this and you would just duplicate this entire thing right on top. So you would duplicate this second layer on top of this. At like literally the exact same thing. And you can keep doing that until the TNT uh, will explode before it reaches the bottom, I would say. Of course, you're not gonna be getting the best out of your TNT the higher you go up because it's not all gonna con like combine right here. Some of it might be stuck back here, especially if it just barely makes it to the bottom. But any explosion is still pretty useful. One over here that was able to one-shot full prop 4 and projectile protection is actually... I'm not sure. Uh, let's double check how many rows it is. We have 12 rows of dispensers. That, that is a lot of TNT, obviously. But this right here is enough to one-shot full netherite without any enchants. And I'll go ahead and actually test it out for you guys real quick. Alright, so... We got our full netherite. It's unenchanted since there's only three rows of dispensers. As you saw over there, it was, what, 11 rows. So, if we go ahead and click this, this should be enough to kill us with just full unenchanted netherite. And, yep, it is. So, I'll go ahead and create it real quick. If you do want to one-shot a player like that, the distance is also going to matter from the player, of course. But you're going to need the... The whatever, however many, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 actually, 12 rows of dispensers to consistently do that. But if you build just this three rows, it should be pretty good. Of course, the distance is also going to matter. So if you want more damage, of course, they're going to have to be closer. And the closer they are, the more accurate it's actually going to be as well. So if we go ahead and test it out at this distance, what you're going to see is the arrows are actually going to be spread out farther, as you see. They're going to be spread a little wider, and that's because it sort of has like a shotgun effect, which is pretty awesome, actually. So the arrows just shoot in a perfectly horizontal line, and as I mentioned, it goes up by half a slab every uh, 15 blocks. So if you want to aim it at something. And of course, some of the arrows are still going to be go straight as far as you can go, but the more uh, dispensers and TNT you have, the more accurate it's going to be, and the slower that spread is going to be. So basically, more dispensers, the better. Well, I hope this tutorial was useful, and I hope you can use this for some, some amazing weapons someday. Of course, it does take uh, quite a bit of TNT, and that's probably the most expensive part of it, but hopefully you can find a way to use this this crazy arrow launcher for some good. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see some more weapon tutorials like this. Bye guys.